A contour line connects points of equal elevation. The surface of a lake has a consistent elevation, so I'll use this example of a land formation in the lake to summarize contour lines. All of the land that touches the water will have the same elevation, which gives us a good base for the first contour line. The stratification, or the lines you can see in the soil, were created by the water in Fontana Lake in this picture, and are representative of contour lines because they connect points of equal elevation. The normal surface of Fontana Lake is 1,703 feet above sea level, and for this example, we'll assume the surface of the lake is currently at 1,680 feet. Another way to think about contour lines is how water would flow when it rains. Water will flow perpendicular to contour lines in the direction of the maximum slope. I've added a few contour lines to this image showing areas of equal elevation. If a drop of water fell in the area where I drew the contour lines, it will flow in the path of least resistance, which will be directly downhill. The red arrow represents the direction of flow, which is perpendicular to the contour lines. Now let's work on the contour lines of the larger area. It can also be useful to see an aerial photograph in relation to our area of interest. We also need to decide how frequently to put contour lines. In flat areas, we might do only one or two feet increments for contour lines, while in steep areas, you might need to use five, ten, or more feet for the interval. You might use other increments depending on the level of detail you need or how large the area is you want to show on the contour map. In this example, we use increments of ten feet to represent the topography. We'll start with the elevation of the land around the edge of the water at 1,680 feet. The next line is 10 feet above the first one, which connects all the points with an elevation of 1,690 feet. The next line is our 1,700 foot contour line. And finally, we add our maximum contour line of 1,710 feet. This completes our contour line example. Except in unusual circumstances, the following guidelines for contour lines will be accurate. Don't let two contour lines of equal elevation join together, and don't separate one contour line into two. Contour lines shouldn't end, meet, or cross. Valleys are V-shaped and point uphill, and ridges are U-shaped and point downhill. The spacing of contour lines represents the steepness of the slope. Contour lines that are close together represent a slope that is steeper than an area with contour lines further apart.